How to use Scalendly API Hello, welcome to our channel and in this tutorial, I will teach you how to use Scalendly API. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So in order to use the Scalendly API, we need to use this platform called No Code API. So just search it on Google and if you want to create an account, you can use our links down there in the video description below. So also make sure to follow all of our links since some of them have bonus rewards upon opening them and signing up for an account. So without further ado, let's get started so after you know creating an account on no code api you will be redirected to this dashboard right here so this is the no code api dashboard and what you're going to do is to go to the marketplace and search for calendly to get its api so as you can see the calendly i can activate it in order to get the calendly api so i don't have any calendly api yet so i can just you know create calendly api by clicking this button and authenticate my calendly uh, account so after that, you just need to authenticate your Calendly account. Make sure that you already have a Calendly account. So you just need to connect it to No Code API. And after authenticating, as you can see, the Calendly API is already right here in my No Code API. And I can just give it a name first before creating it. So for example, I just name it uh, Peter and, and I just click Create. And that's it. As you can see, my API endpoint is already uh created and i can just click use this api in order to know copy the codes of my api and also my api keys i can also see it right here and yeah that's it so now i can just use my kindly api to integrate something in my uh, other platforms and yeah that's it that's how you can use kindly api and also that's it for this tutorial if you want more please like this video subscribe to our channel and see you in the next one bye